Hello beauties and welcome to Jessing Things Up with Jessica Yick. Today we're doing a product review video and it's going to be on this. The Jeju Aloe Fresh Soothing Foam Cleanser. So let's do this. This product here, it actually came out a little while ago. I purchased it because it was such a great price point and I never ended up using it because I was still using a few other ones. And now that I have depleted my a new cream cleanser, I figured I would give this one a go, give this one a try and see see how much I like it or not like it. So this product here, it is formulated with pure Jeju aloe vera leaves as well as seven plant-based ingredients and panthenol. It is supposed to be a mild amino acid based cleanser. So it starts off with a firm gel tensor and then after you uh, add a little bit of water to it, it's supposed to become a dense foam. It's supposed to help get rid of my impurities as well as get off makeup and I have a full face of makeup on today. Just finished my live stream and so I need something to get this off so I can move on with my night and go to bed. It's also supposed to leave my skin feeling well moisturized, so it's supposed to hydrate and soothe my skin. We did just get back from vacation, and so I did spend quite a bit of time in the sun. I do have a little bit of irritation, so something soothing will be great. So according to this, it's supposed to also help maintain your skin's natural pH with a slightly acidic pH, but I'm just excited to try this out, so let's get right to it. One day, I will not have a pink bathroom. Someday. Sunday. Lots of things on a renovation list. So anyways, okay, so we here we are. I have not opened this up. I have not tried it before. I did take off the plastic film. It is sealed. So let's open this up and give this a quick smell of ruse Okay, okay, okay. Has a nice like fresh herbal type of a scent to it. So it's not a fragrance-free product, but I mean Fragrance can be part of the experience. There's some people who love fragrance in their products and some people who don't like fragrance in their products. I'm kind of an in-betweener. I feel like it can be part of the experience. I'm not opposed to not having any sort of fragrance in my products. Um, however, I do not like anything that has a lot of fragrance to it. While I'm washing my face, um, I'm going to post up a little bit of pop-ups of some goodness and fun facts about this particular product. Now, so first off, let's get my hair tied back. Like so, come saw. So here is my face beforehand. I do have a full thing of makeup today. Um, yeah, and I do have some irritations. As you can see, they're actually a lot better now compared to when it was in like full massive acne attack. I had a really bad bout of it for uh, right around the, the holidays is when it was starting to get worse. Um, up until my trip and did just get back from my trip about a week ago and so this is the state of my skin now hidden under some makeup and concealer of course so you're gonna see it in action you're gonna see some redness afterwards so that's not gonna be attributed to this at all Unless, if I do notice anything I'll definitely you know comment on that but first off I, it said to uh, wet it in my hands and then apply it to my face all right, so let's try this here. That's about sure. Large-ish type of a quarter. And so it is like a jelly texture. And so you're supposed to foam it up in your hands like so. It smells a lot like the, the, the aloe mist that we had. And also like the um, the ice gel. I actually really like the ice gel. We brought that one along. Alright, and then I'm supposed to wash. I had some chapping under my nose here because I was also just under the weather a little bit when the kids were sick. And I don't feel any um, any stinging, which is really nice. So they did say that this is good for sensitive skin and it is dermatology test dermatologist tested, which is always good. So I am going on the eye area right into the hairline. And then you're supposed to rinse with lukewarm water. I wonder if I open my eyes it will sting. I'm gonna try that in a bit. Probably about a minute now. Yeah, I'm really actually really impressed that it's not stinging at all here. Chin. And they say after washing, it's not supposed to leave any sort of tightness on my face. Oh, no sticking. Ah. 
Okay. You see I have a little bit of pimple still, but it's not, not nearly as bad as it was previously. It was really bad earlier. I'm enjoying the scent of it. It is a smidge stronger. So if you do have a scent sensitivity, be careful, be mindful of that. But so far, my skin feels pretty good. Let's put this up with some lukewarm water. Okay, so. Did I get rid of all makeup? Oh, I did a pretty good job. I mean, there's a little bit left down here. Got most of the mascara off. The absolute best, best, best cleanser I've ever used to get rid of makeup in one shot is this one here, which is the a new Ultimate Rejuvenating Gel to Oil Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. It's discontinued. I'm sad. I only have one left. Yeah, and then after that, I got to figure something else out. All in all, it looks like I did get the majority of the makeup off. Like, you can see that all the foundation's off and everything. And this is good for a daily cleanser, according to the web our website. If you are doing a double cleanse, this will be the second step of the double cleanse after your oil-based cleanser. So typically, I would use this and then followed by this if I'm doing a double cleanse. Afterwards, you're supposed to use your toner and everything. Now, does my skin feel tight? It's a little bit tingly now that my the skin is drying. Like it's like well because like you know like it's I'm done washing and it's drying now. So I get a little bit of tingling right around my nose. You see that this was where all the irritation was just from like being somewhat. I wasn't fully sick, but I was just like a little bit nose runny, and so I got a little bit of chapness going on here. So it's just a little bit of a tingle. The makeup, the majority of it did come off. There is a little bit left here. It does leave my skin feeling nice and soft, which is really nice. Um, another thing that you can do is you can also use the Jeju Spray, the Aloe Spray, as an extra refresher. But for now, I am going to do my regular skincare routine, which includes the Belief Toner. I'm going to put that on before my skin dries up anymore. I don't like waiting too long between putting on, uh, wash my face and putting on my skin cream because I feel like it just irritates and stresses out my skin more. I like to get it done pretty quick yeah so at least i have my toner on because this the belief toner it feels so good it's super hydrating i just feel like it just like it basically just lets my skin drink up with moisture again that's just what it feels like i'm just gonna finish up my skincare routine first and then i'll do my my, my closing on it my final thoughts Done. final thoughts on this i think it's a nice cleanser i mean if you're if you really like things like aloe in your products. I think this is a really great product here. Um, is it my favorite cleanser that I've used as a first impression? No, it's not. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's, the fragrance is a little bit stronger. Um, so that's one thing. And like I said, I'm kind of like an in-betweener. It's part of the experience, but I like it a little bit more subtle. Got rid of the majority of the makeup, which is great. But as I was doing and filming my skincare routine, I did start feeling that my skin was getting a little parched so i don't know if it's just because i've been in the sun and that's causing it or whatever but yeah it's not as non-tightening as in my mind i think it should be that's just me like i said i compare everything to this i compare everything to this because it's such a good product is it a good product yes is it the best product i've tried no so Take that with a grain of salt, and it also like it depends on what formulas you like. I mean, do you like gel? Do you like um? Do you like an oil cleanser? If I had to choose between this and the jelly cleanser from Belief, I'd probably choose the jelly cleanser from Belief. I really, really love that product. I actually bring that whenever I travel. I bring that particular product. All in all, if you're looking for a cleanser that has aloe in it as well as more plant-based ingredients, K Beauty product, but also Belief's also K Beauty, then yes, this is a good product for you. To give it a try it, it's a really great price point i mean i'll put the price point here i did get it when it was on sale for 9.99 it's a good cleanser it got rid of the majority of the makeup it did what it pretty much said it would do except for the fact that i did feel like my skin was a little bit tingly in certain areas after i rinsed my face so while i was using it was fine i was actually really impressed with the fact that i could open my eyes with the cleanser on and not have a problem
So that's always a bonus. If you want to learn more about this particular product, make sure you do go to the link in the description box as well as check out the other cleansers. Maybe you'll find the exact one that you are looking for. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on any of my socials or leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video notification. I go live every week as well as I've been trying to have a new video out every single week. Yeah, I'm just, let's just say that I'm trying. I upload as much as I can. I love you guys so very, very much. And until next time, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. Bye! That's like a great bloopers reel. The Jeju Aloe Fresh Soothing Fat Felt Pure Jeju Aloe uh, Viral. I can't say it right. Oh my gosh. Cut. No. Ah. <laughs> I can't get those. It's like. <laughs> oh. This product here, it is.